Commander Colonel James E. Sines, signifying the return of this responsibility of which she was entrusted upon assuming command. Colonel Sines then passes the guide on to the incoming commander, Captain Andrew J. Higgins, thus demonstrating his confidence in the commander's ability to handle the responsibility of command. By the authority of paragraph 3-1 Bravo, Army Regulation 600-20, the undersigned assumes command of Headquarters and Headquarters Company, United States Army Garrison Bavaria. Signed, Andrew J. Higgins, Captain AG Commanding. Captain Higgins returns the guide on to First Sergeant Muras, who entrusts the guide on to the company guide on bearer. Ladies and, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Commander, United States Army Garrison Bavaria, Colonel James E. Sines. Wow, what a great Bavarian day. <laughs> Distinguished guests, Colonel Loveless, Lieutenant Colonel Best, Command Sergeant Major Jefferson, Command Sergeant Major Dillingham, Lieutenant Colonel Garline, Mayor Schertel, Mayor Noblock, members of the Bavaria military community, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. We especially like to welcome Captain Becker's family, her daughter Sabrina, her mother Virginia, her stepfather David, and her brother Sean. Over the past few years, the United States Army Garrison Bavaria successfully transformed from three separate garrisons into a single exceptional organization. Today we recognize another significant change as we say goodbye to Captain Amy Becker as the commander of headquarters and headquarters company and welcome Captain Andrew Higgins as the new commander. As we all know, Amy lives the soldier's creed and the army values every day. And she delivered on those pledges throughout her entire time as the United States Army Garrison headquarters and headquarters company commander. After taking charge in March of 2013, Amy began leading the unit with resources stretched across 200 miles. With her own style of leadership, she successfully took troops from four distinct locations, formerly three separate companies, and united them into one team. Throughout the year, she held monthly one-on-one -on -one meetings with every soldier. Not an easy task with a company spread across from Grafenbeer to Garmisch. But this showed that a soldier's welfare as well as the welfare of the soldier's family, is and always will be her top priority. At the same time, Captain Becker placed major emphasis on training, accountability, and standards in order to ensure that her company was always ready. In fact, her professionalism has become an inspiration to us all. She also realized the importance of teamwork. With the majority of her unit dispersed, Amy's decision to hold multiple off-duty events throughout the entire year, such as organizational days and hails and farewells, helped unify the HHC. She took that concept even further by partnering with the Bundeswehr for local events. Moreover, she embraced her partner community at Volsbach, as evidenced by the city's black powder shooters who participated in today's ceremony. During her 14 months as commander, Amy showed true dedication to her company and its soldiers. As First Sergeant Scott Uris told me, Captain Becker took a good company and made it great. The energy she brings to work every day is contagious. It motivated us to succeed. But as for all of us in the Army, there comes a time when we must move on. Amy will now join the Human Resources Command at Fort Knox, Kentucky, where she will work assignments for the MI branch. And we wish her the best of luck there. However, I expect to see her sitting behind the commander's desk once again very soon. And before she steps up to give her farewell remarks, I would just like to remind her once again just how much she has meant to the very military community and how much we will miss her. Thank you, Amy, for everything you've done for HHC and the United States Army Garrison Bavaria.